Is Maki's Heavenly Restriction as strong as Toji's? Well, let's talk about it. But if you're not caught up on the manga, we'll see you in the next one. All right, so this question comes to us from Matthew, and I've actually done an in-depth explanation on this very subject before, going over all of the details for why Maki and Toji are different, and then what changes to make Maki the same. So I'm going to link that down in the pinned comments for anybody watching on YouTube. And Matthew, if you watch me on a different platform, just DM me, and I'll get you a link to the video there as well. But the short answer is... Yes, Maki's Heavenly Restriction is as strong as Toji's, and she will be as fully realized as he is, but just early on in the manga and in the anime, she's not there yet. And that's because she still has some cursed energy. Toji has none, which is the Heavenly Restriction, right? In exchange for having no cursed energy, he's a physical beast. So Maki's got that same one, but her unique situation being a twin actually gives her a little bit of cursed energy. So since she has a little bit, she doesn't get the full benefits that Toji has. But when her twin sister dies, that cursed energy goes away and she becomes fully realized just like Toji. Which leads to this panel, which is one of the coldest in the entire manga, where it says a demonic fighter equal to Toji Zenin was fully realized. So from that fully realized panel onwards, their heavenly restrictions are completely equal and the parallels between them are a plenty, right? So again, check out my other video if you want the full explanation of the nuance of the situation. But yes, they are the same. And I've actually got a few questions here about Maki and Toji. So this next one comes to us from Shay and he wants to know if I can do a matchup between Prime Maki and Prime Toji. And I've actually talked a little bit about this before in a previous video. Um, and I actually gave the edge to Maki in that video and I got some pushback for that. And I think that's completely fair. But let me just reiterate what I said in that video because I'm not just saying Maki beats Toji. They are equal. And if anything, Maki is compared to Toji. So that's saying something, right? And I even say that in the previous video that I'm referencing. All I said was Maki has more impressive feats, which is just objectively true. We're seeing her fight a 20-finger Sukuna, and yes, he's weakened, but it's still a 20-finger Sukuna. The best feats we saw from Toji were against Team Gojo and Dagon, right? So Maki's just doing more impressive things, and for that, I gave her the edge. But again, admittedly, I think Toji can do everything that Maki can do. So if we're going to give me a hypothetical scenario where both are at their prime, I probably would switch up and give the edge to Toji um, just because he has that heavenly restricted body and has had much more practice with it. Um, he's had it his whole life, right? Maki just got it recently and, you know, however old she is, well, you know, she's only had it for a few months, right? So I do think, you know, if we're going to take the peak, the prime of both of them, assuming they're both equally motivated as well, then I'm going to give it to Toji just for his experience. But I do stand by the fact that Maki has more impressive feats. Next up, we got this question from Michael on what would I give Maki to make her even more powerful? Like, what would I add to her toolkit? And again, we're going to need to look toward the blueprint here because I would give her this inventory curse. I think that's the single greatest thing you could give her to take her to that next level because she's heavenly restricted, right? We can't just give her, you know, the limitless or 10 shadows. That doesn't make sense. Really all we can give her are curse tools or weapons. So if we give her this curse that can become invisible, just like her, you know, like Toji ate it and you know, it's functionally invisible like a heavenly restricted user at that point. And so she can just carry around a multitude of curse tools to use for whatever occasion that's going to take her to the next level. But that being said, she does already have the Soul Split Katana, which is arguably one of the most powerful weapons. Um, but if we give her this, like even if we're not going to give her the Inventory Curse, but we give her the Inverted Spear of Heaven or Miguel's Black Rope, I think those are individual items that could take her to the next level. But the Soul Split Katana is going to do everything else she could conceivably need. But that nullification from this or the Black Rope would be next level as well. Next, we got this question from Klaus on would Toji be affected by infinite void? So this is really interesting and we kind of have to get into the weeds to answer this depending on what you mean by your question. Because if you're simply asking would Toji be immune to the effects of infinite information into his brain, then no, I think that would affect him just like anyone else. Just because he's heavenly restricted doesn't mean he's going to be immune to the brain overload. But... If you mean, will he be affected by it insofar as will he be hit by it if he steps into the domain, then that we don't know. 
The assumption, I would think, would be Toji would not be hit by it, given what we know about how domain expansions interact with heavenly restricted users. We know that from Naoya's domain, it couldn't target Maki with its sure hit effect because the way that sure hit effect target functions is by targeting cursed energy. And since Maki doesn't have any, she was functionally invisible to the domain, right? However, there are exceptions to this, like with Tsukuna's domain. And that's because he has programmed, if you will, his domain expansion to target inanimate objects, aka things without cursed energy, to be struck by his um, dismantle attack, right? So conceivably, Gojo could have some sort of targeting parameters in his domain where it doesn't matter if you're an inanimate object or not. So maybe the process of Infinite Void could affect heavenly restricted users. But my assumption would be that it wouldn't. Like Gojo wouldn't know to do that type of programming until he ran into somebody like that. So here's what I'll say. Pretend Gojo doesn't know Toji, has no history with heavenly restricted users. He opens the domain, he's going to have the same issue Naoya did, where it doesn't work. But I think Gojo then's going to realize what he needs to do and could craft a domain to have Infinite Void target other things as well. So, you know, could everyone do that? No. But I think Gojo is, you know, like Sukuna in the fact that he could figure that out if he needed to. And then again, I am trying to get a hold of Ild, who sent me this donation a while back for a comment on an April 1st video, but I cannot find that comment. I'm convinced it doesn't exist. Uh, you do say underpinned, and I checked all of my pinned comments on all of my YouTube videos around this time, and there are no comments from Ild. There are actually no comments on my entire YouTube channel from Ild. So I don't know if you meant Instagram or something, but there are no pinned comments on TikTok. So Ild, if you see this, please reach out. I DM'd you on Instagram but haven't heard back. I want to get this figured out for you. And then finally, to round out this video today, we've got this question from Colby, and it has nothing to do with Maki or Toji, but still figured we could just slot it in at the end here. And this is a very popular game I'm sure you guys are familiar with, but I'm going to have to change the name of it slightly for reasons. So Colby wants to know, Screw, Mary, Unalive, Nobra, Meimei, and Yuki. And this is the easiest one of these I've ever had to do. We are going to Unalive Nobra because she is 16 years old. We are going to Screw Meimei because I definitely don't want to marry her. And we are obviously going to marry Yuki because I would want to marry her anyway uh, amongst these three. And, you know, the other ones are just kind of slotted in by default given the circumstances. So, yes, that would be my answer. Alrighty, y'all, that's going to do it for this one. And if you made it this far watching, thank you so much because I know not everybody rocks with these longer videos, so I really appreciate you. And to everybody who donated and made this video possible, thank you so much for the support. The only bad news I got for you guys is that it is JJK break week right now, so we are in the midst of Lobotomy Kaisen. So if you need something to tide you over, you need somebody to lose your mind with, then come hang out with us in the Discord because we'd love to have you.